For our News, I am Tofumi Talabi. Biola, popularly known as Ebila, one of the most wanted criminals in Ibadoyo state, was reportedly killed on Sunday afternoon by suspected thugs loyal to late Moshud Ekugbemi. Until his death at Olomi area of Ibadoyo, the warlord was the leader of a dreaded one million boys, a violent gang that has caused orgy of violence in the state. One Million Boys is the codename of a robbery gang known for its notorious robbery activities around Lagos and other states. Unchallenged by elders in the community and without fear of law enforcement agents, they conduct their menacing activities in the open and residents are well aware of their sophistication with dangerous objects. Due to the COVID-19 lockdown that took effect in the country March 2020, the group have been moving around different parts of Lagos State causing so much unrest. They start their operations by sending letters to residents of the area that they would be visiting them at night. It was gathered that Ebila was murdered in his hideout around Olomi area of Ibado after he fled from his permanent residence in Kudeti for fear of reprisal attack by late Moshud Ekwemi's group. Ekwemi was stabbed to death during a bloody clash with a rival group at Olude area of Ibado in Oluyolo local government area of the state. The groups that have been terrorizing the inner part of Ibano, such as Bonu, Foto, Foko, Isaleosi, Kokoye Moja, Idia Rere, Kudeti, and so on, include One Million Boys, the Indomi Boys, and Abeyi Boys. The late Ebila was alleged to have been busted along with some of his gang members by operatives of Operation Bust when they went to kidnap one person simply identified as Femi. Ebila and his boys were said to have exchanged fire with the officials of Operation Bust, but his gang members reportedly escaped with his dead body in a car and took the lifeless body to Kudeti and, and showed the cops to other members of the gang that did not follow them for the operation. The development was said to have angered some of his gang members who immediately unleashed pandemonium on Kudeti, which is their operational headquarters. The Oyo Police Public Relations Officer Olubwe Ngafade, who confirmed Ebila's death, said some of his gang members brought his cops to Kudeti area of Ibarra on Sunday and after some people had seen it, drove the lifeless body to an unknown destination. It stated further that some arrests have been made because some of his followers wanted to foment trouble in Kudeti area following his death adding that security personnel have been stationed at strategic places at Kudeti, Idiarere, Okeoloko and other places to forestall breakdown of law and order. It could be recalled that Ebila was declared wanted by Oyo State Police Command for his alleged involvement in the murder of another Ibadan warlord, Moshud Ekubemi, on the 12th of May 2020. It was gathered that Ebila led his group to attack Ekubemi, which eventually led to Ekubemi's death. That's news for now. For more updates, visit www.thestrictjournal.org. Subscribe to Iron TV on YouTube and follow us on our social media platforms at Iron TV. For Iron News, I am Tofumi Talabi.